Here at the Capital Area Humane Society, we provide shelter, care, and find homes for more than 3,500 animals each year. Now those are facts you probably already know, but there's so much more that goes on here that may amaze you. You're probably aware that each year with your help, we spay and neuter each animal at the shelter, provide veterinarian care for every animal surrendered, and extensively temperament test each animal. Your support also means up to 290 animals receive food, water, and shelter, along with tender loving care every single day. And that every animal receives vaccinations to ensure optimal health. But Capital Area Humane Society does many other things that impact our community beyond just matching animals with adoptive homes. We always have animals, but where do they come from? Yes, many come by the way of surrender from our community. But did you know that we partner with animal controls of Eaton, Clinton, and Ingham counties to ensure every homeless animal has the greatest chance of finding a home? By dedicating space for animals from animal controls and coordinating with them on overflow when space is available, we help place hundreds of animals that would otherwise never come to Capital Area Humane Society. But Capital Area Humane Society reaches even further, even beyond the borders of our state, to help animals from the South that face an inevitable and sad end. Every two to three weeks, Capital Area Humane Society coordinates with PetSmart Charities in the Rescue Wagon Program to transport dozens of puppies and dogs facing certain euthanasia from the southern regions of our country. Through this program, these animals are brought to our facility where they eventually will be adopted. After two days of travel, these animals arrive at our doors where your donations support the very necessary care needed to bring them to health and to have them ready to find a new home. The Rescue Wagon program started many years ago. I think we've been doing Rescue Wagon for seven or eight years here at this shelter. There are many, many puppies in the southern states, um, but they seem to be almost drying up in the northern states where people are a little more progressive in their thoughts about spay and neuter. It seems that they're about 20 years behind down south for spay and neuter efforts. So what we did is um, collaborated with PetSmart Charities to be a destination shelter for PetSmart Charities Rescue Wagon. What they do is bring up animals from the south that would otherwise be euthanized and bring them to shelters that have space available um, where we can put them up for adoption and guarantee them a successful home. So typically the animals come and sit for about 24 to 48 hours and then they begin what we call the evaluation process. And during that process they get a behavior evaluation to make sure they don't have any significant behavior issues and they also get a health examination to make sure that their health is good for the adoption process. So typically within about 72 hours most animals hit the adoption floor. For those that have special medical needs, perhaps they might have um, a condition that requires surgery or additional medications, those animals may have to wait longer to go for adoption. Your contributions are critical to saving the lives of not only the animals of mid-Michigan, but also animals who, without this program, have no future. Your contributions go even further as they help us assist our community on a much more intimate level, on a level that can resonate far beyond just animal lovers. Who are we as a community without the ability to provide care under the most extreme situations and when humanity's ugly side surfaces? Well, yesterday I got up kind of late and I was kind of walking, you know, I got out to walk the dog. I usually walk them twice a day. And I got out and started walking them around the block and my bigger male, I got up around the corner by the woods and the bigger male started to uh, pull me down this hill. And I got to looking down there and I seen, I seen this little, little girl down there all tied up. When the call came in, we knew it was a very serious case. Based on the information that was given to our receptionist, um, it was apparent that it was a critical moment for this dog, and so um, we made the decision to go out immediately and to respond. I grabbed a pair of scissors when I was at the house because I had noticed the electrical tape around her legs. And I got back up there and just crawled down into where she was, and the tape was on so tight. I mean, I got her front legs unhooked, but her back ones, I had to just, you know, pick her up and take her back to the truck to get her back legs. So the tape was just too tight. That's when I noticed she had tape around her, her muzzle too. And 
That was really tight. I could barely get that off, but I finally got it off, and so I took her down to my house and gave her some food, and uh, she drank a little water, and then I called. Uh, my wife was doing the phone work, and she called the Humane Society here. Once we got her back here to the clinic, um, the vet team was immediately responding to her. Um, we had about four medical staff um, immediately as assisting her and providing some immediate shock relief for her and um, assessing her injury. She was transported out to an external clinic for radiographs or x-rays within about an hour after reaching us so that we were fully understanding what the, the degree of her injuries were and the significance of her injuries. I'm just glad the Humane Society got out there so quick, you know, she was Julia was there within 20 minutes, I mean. My main concern at that point was just to get her into some place warm. She was shaking like you wouldn't believe. And I just can't see a dog suffer like that. It's just not right. Tatiana is still in our care, and she will be in our care until the case, the criminal case um, against the individual responsible um, is concluded and we are able to outcome her. And what that means is we'll be able to place her in a home um, and give her some kind of a permanent status. So at this time, she's in the care of our behavior specialist and I'm um, being fostered by her because she does have some very special needs. Unfortunately, because of what happened to her at that moment, in addition to what we know now happened to her over the course of her one year life, that she um, endured significant physical abuse and that she, as a result, is extremely fearful. Um, and that's really to be understood. What we're able to provide for her right now is some consistent care and building her confidence and helping her to understand um, a safe environment and hopefully with some time that will enable her to be a little more trusting with all people, not just those she knows very well. So we're really pleased that Tatiana's come so far. She's actually nearly 100% physically recovered from her injury. She endured injuries specifically to her head. Um, she had massive head trauma and um, all injuries associated with that have been resolved. Um, she also had some other minor injuries and again, those are all um, 100%. She's 100% healthy physically and again, mentally, she's gonna have some recovery ahead of her, but um, we are so pleased. Um, when we first picked her up that day, we weren't sure if we were gonna have um, a happy ending to this story at all. We were really concerned for her well-being at that point. It, it's almost, you know, miraculous or surprising that, you know, considering what, what she was in, the condition she was in when we, when we arrived at the scene, that she's come so far. She's a very, very strong dog, one of the strongest dogs I've ever seen. And um, we, we're just so happy that she was able to have this outcome, that she's gonna be okay. The mission at the Capital Area Humane Society is to promote the humane treatment of companion animals through protection, placement, education, and example. The amazing work that goes on every day would not be possible without your contributions and support. Thank you for caring for animals like Tatiana, as well as the thousands of other animals in our community in need. Together, we can build a better future for the animals.